Yo, what is up guys? In today's Final Cut tutorial, I'll be teaching you guys how to muzzle flash. Hey guys, it's Scrunchy here from Red Black Productions, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to muzzle flash. Now if you don't know what muzzle flash is, it's basically that flash you get with that drawback when you pull the trigger on your gun. Now what we're going to start off with is by finding our own muzzle flash. Now you can do this by going on Photoshop, or if you're just super lazy like me, we just basically Google muzzle flash. Alright, now that you have your muzzle flash prepared, it's time to start. Now by starting, we create a new project, and let's call it muzzle flash. As always, we're going to import the files we want and just drag it onto the timeline. Alright, so this video is basically me just shooting nothing. Now that we establish our scene where we want to insert the muzzle flash, we just find that spot where I'm about to shoot. Alright, now that we have that spot clicked on, we're going to go to our picture button and find our muzzle flash. And just drag it on top of our video. Alright, so here's our muzzle flash. Now as you can see, you have this black border filling up the rest of the shape. Now to get rid of that, we go to our inspector window and make sure to click on video and just scroll down to the bottom until we see compositing. Now in compositing, you should see the blending mode. Now in blending mode, we are going to click and make sure we click on screen. Alright, now that got rid of it. Now what we're going to do is click on our transform button over here and just resize and shape it around and place it where we want. Alright, now that we're done placing and adjust it, we're going to click over here and use our blade tool and just cut where it ends. And just delete this upper part. Alright, now we use our blade tool and we are going to cut the same part we have of our video. Alright, and by clicking on it, we are going to create that back flash we have so that it looks more realistic that you pulled the trigger and you got a true flash. Now, to create our back flash, we are going to go back to the inspector window, click on video, and under color over here, we are going to press this button over here. Now that we created a shape mask, we are going to change the color. Let's make it to exposure and just basically make it a little bit brighter. Not too much, but just a little bit. Now with this flash, we're just going to basically put it on our face and arms and body to just for that little bit of back flash. Alright, and now that you're done with the head, we're going to create another one. And let's make this the body and create another one again. And let's call this the arm. Alright, now that we have our back flash, we're going to make sure to just keyframe all of them. Alright, so basically what we did was create a muzzle flash as well as a back flash. Now we just repeat this process for how many times you want, and we are done! And yeah, that's basically how to muzzle flash, guys. We just basically insert our picture onto our timeline, and just create some flashes using our shapes, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's how to muzzle flash on Final Cut Pro X. So once again, I'm Scrunchy from Red Black Productions, and if you have a Final Cut request, feel free to leave a comment down below. Much appreciated. See you in the next one. Bye.